You see those woods right there? Yeah. There's a tent down there. Okay. That's where I stay. It's tough, Mike. You know, I mean, being on these streets, you know, and it's embarrassing, man. <clears throat> it's embarrassing because I'm on foot all the time and I'm going here and I'm going there and I'm going here and I'm going there. You can't panhandle, you can't panhandle nobody, you know, because it's against the law. So you can't panhandle nobody, man. Ah. Oh yeah. Look at cigarettes. How's tea? Tea. Get you some sausage biscuits. How's it? Here's you and Marvin a pack. Diggies? Oh yeah. Cool. Here's Marvin's. What's your name? Dean Elmendorf. Dean, how long have you been homeless? 23 years, since mom died. Where are you from, man? California. I've, I've got some questions here from Facebook. We have a question here from Jennifer Jones. Okay. Jennifer asks, has there ever been a time in your life when someone showed you kindness and it really meant something to you? Oh yeah. Um, I've, had, I've had some pretty good people you know, I've had some pretty good guys come up and say, hey, man, how you doing? What's going on? I've been there before. Um, okay. And can I just help you out a little bit? Right. You know, and that's what they did. And they helped me out. I got a question here from Donna Bradley. Okay. What do you want me to know about you? I love people, man. I mean, okay. I just, I do. Question here from Denise. Kiplinger. That's my sister's name. Denise Kiplinger. Is it really Denise? Yeah, yeah my okay. sister. All right. She asked, what advice would the homeless guy give to those who are newly homeless, and does he ever see himself not being homeless? <sighs> That's a tough question. Yeah. Well, you know, I'm a drinkard. You know, I'm an alcoholic. You're an alcoholic? Yeah. Okay. Is that, is that why you think you're homeless, or...? No, I, uh, my mom died. I had my leg broke. I got divorced from my my ex-wife. I have two kids with her. She's beautiful, but um, yeah. I all of a sudden I just ended up, okay. and here I am. That's I've been homeless ever since, man. I got you. If you could teach any one thing about life, what would it be? This comes from Amanda. Whitson. One thing in life, what would you teach someone? Strength. Just just be strong. Because a lot of people in this situation would probably give up. Mm. Yeah. If, if you've been close to that before. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> no. no. Never give up, never give up. No. I will yeah. not. Look, I lay down, I wake up. I mean, I dream, I dream is so much stuff that is, is amazing. Do you need a drink right now? Yes.
the alcohol is good, you know, for for all of us. It really is, man, you know? Oh, my dad's still alive. I call him all the time, man. We just get into it, man. You know what I'm saying? I mean, we just get into it. You know, we go back and forth. Arguments? Yeah, well, pretty much, because he doesn't... I'm just asking him for a little bit of help, man, you know? I said, Dad, give me some money, man, and he, he won't give me no money. Why not? Does he think you may spend it on alcohol? Is that why he does? That's why. He says, because I'm, he calls me a drunk. Yeah. Do you think, there's some people that say alcohol is a disease. What do you think about that? I think alcohol, I think that there are people who are alcoholics. It's pretty tough. You think that's where you're at? I know where I'm at, man. I mean, I'm a functioning alcoholic, man. You think you could ever stop? I do not want to. I don't. Does it help you through your day as far as fighting maybe demons or, you know what I mean? Demons and then all that shit, yeah. It, it gets me through it. Okay. You know, well, look, I love my alcohol, man. I mean, I, I can't get away from it, you know? Gotcha. Can but, you sign up for housing? I already did. Did you? Yeah, okay. I signed up, um, I signed up three years ago, or, or three months ago, I mean, and it's the ARCH program, and they're supposed to, and they're supposed to like provide for the homeless, you know, where they, they turn your lights on, your water on, they turn everything on, and they pay everything else, but I haven't, I haven't talked to Doug, I haven't talked to Doug in two months. They want you to be clean off of alcohol first, maybe. Or? No, they're not even concerned about that. Cause you, you're not, you don't, you don't use drugs, right? No. You're drug free. Yeah. Okay. I'm, you know, I'm a drinkard, but um, yeah, I, I don't know what, I don't know what to do, Mike. Um, Latasha Woods, she asked a question: Are you content being homeless? No. Okay. Absolutely not. Was being homeless a choice, or was it forced upon or chosen for him in attempted failures due to lack of support financially, emotionally, mentally, or physically? It was forced upon me. Okay. okay? Straight out. I had no choice. If I was homeless, and you were interviewing me, what would you do to help me? What would I do, dude? I would give you a hand up and say, let's, we got to go somewhere. Something has to happen, no matter what. I, I, I don't care what it is, but it has to happen. You know, because you can't have people, you know, being homeless. I'm a framer. Okay. I, I frame houses, I build houses, that's what I do, man. So you worked on Movie 6? Yeah. yeah. The only one I know that I worked for, man, for 10 years was Spielberg, man. You worked for Steven Spielberg? Yeah. Okay. On what movie was that, do you remember? Batman, all, all of them. It was all of them. But he was very, very cool. $1,200 a week. Mm -hmm. $1,200. And... What do, you, what do you do with that? I mean, 1200 I had a beautiful wife. Right. You know, but I was getting paid $1,200 a week, dude, after taxes. I'm paying my taxes, and I'm, I put $1,200 in my pocket, and I take it home to my wife, and that was it, man. What's the last movie you've seen? Last movie? Yep. I don't, um, I don't know. You don't know? No. When's the last time you've been to the theater? Uh, no. 
No. When's the last time you ate um, in a restaurant? I don't know, man. I don't remember. Don't um, remember. I love you, brother. Honestly. That's it. Okay. Okay. Happy Easter, man. Yeah, happy Easter. Awesome. Mm -hmm.